Hi, Emil Carr. Great to have you here today as part of the Enterprise video series. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about migration. Thanks, Justin. It's great to be here. Happy to talk to you guys. So jumping into the first question, what should companies think about when going through their migration? So migration into the cloud is um, an exercise that all companies need to go through when they're moving from their legacy data centers into the cloud. And it's uh, really, there, there is no, no process that fits to every company. So there's no one size fits all model, but there are some best practices and some solutions that customers can use to really mitigate some of the risks and make their, their migration process unnecessarily complex. AWS has a lot of experience and we're going to talk through some of the approaches and solutions that we've um, developed over the course of the years. Got it. So going one step uh, down, you talked a little bit about that there's some best practices that companies uh, can abide by. Can you touch on what those best practices are? Absolutely. So we always think about migration as a combination of technology, people, and processes. So technology is a big plays a big role and is a big part of it, but it's not just about the, the solutions in the technical sense. There's also a lot of things that need to happen from the people perspective and certainly a lot of things that happen through governance and process. So the five-phase approach that AWS has traditionally taken to guide customers through their migration strategy is first and foremost to think about how do you start? Where do you really start? And that's by building your plan and thinking about what is your overall migration strategy. The second is to do application and portfolio management, to really identify and zero in what is that application that you're going to be starting to migrate first. Then you're going to be looking at what are the actual technical requirements to move that uh, application. So what are some of the technical components that need to be addressed to make the application work in the cloud? Then you're going to be doing some validation to make sure that it actually works and that it works up to your standards or, or better. And lastly, you're going to focus on really driving operations to optimize the performance. Got it. So along with that five-step approach, I've heard a lot about this thing called six R's, as well as some additional tools. Can you talk a little bit about those tools as well as what the six R's um, are? Absolutely, because th that is a great point, because the, the reality is that when you migrate to the cloud, it's not really a one size fits all. Like I said before, there are a multitude of ways in which you can actually get your application to the cloud. So the first thing when you think about the six R's is one of them is this ability to rehost your application. So you're effectively going to do a lift and shift and bring your application from your data center into the cloud. The second option is to replatform, which is to really just build it from scratch all over again. So you're essentially using new tools and you're building the new application, meet the functionality just in a different provisioning environment. The third is to um, repurchase your solution. You can effectively go to a partner, go to a solutions integrator or, or buy it from an ISV and have a brand new solution. Mm -hmm. The fourth point is to refactor or re-architect, which is to get the solution, make minor tweaks or smaller tweaks, make sure that it works, bring it into the cloud and continue to operate in a more or less run rate business. The last two options, which are perhaps a little bit more draconian, is to fundamentally retain what you have and continue working on these operations or to entirely retire and just be done with the application. Understood. So along with that, um, can we talk a little bit about why companies need to think about migration beforehand? Absolutely. So the key with migration is to plan ahead so you don't end up creating an unnecessary headache for your organization. Like we said before, Migration is a three-pronged component where there is a component of technology, a component of people, and a component of process. So you need to have all those three aligned. So the first thing you need to do is build a business case that basically articulates how you are going to be moving into the cloud, what you expect to spend, how much you expect to really invest, how much um, in, in people capital do you actually need, and what kind of technology investments. You don't want to create problems even before you start because you're under budget. The second step is to really have that alignment in terms of people and processes so you have the right skills, so you have the right operational level of um, uh, capabilities. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we always recommend is that organizations build this com this concept called a uh, cloud center of excellence that is basically going to allow to govern how these transitions and these programs work. Lastly, we really want to emphasize on this component of optimization of operations because moving the application into the cloud is not mm -hmm. enough. Now that it's there, you actually need to realize the benefits of moving into the cloud. And that not only happens through provisioning the solution, but also through operational excellence. Terrific, a lot of great detail there. Uh, so before we close, uh, uh, do you have any last thoughts that you'd like to share with people who are tuned in? Certainly, so just to reemphasize, the three key things to always remember is, it all starts with a plan, identifying the right people, processes, and, and technology solutions, and really thinking about operational efficiencies once things are deployed. If you can think about those three parts early on, identify your resources, identify your budgets, you know, make sure that there's a compelling business case, have the right partners if necessary, 
then you're really going to have a successful migration into the cloud and you're going to be able to maximize the benefits of your investments. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I really enjoyed talking with you today and hope we get to do it again soon. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.